Hey me YouTubers, it's Lady Grave Dancer and I am here at work and it's kind of slow. My assistant's on vacation and I had time so I was like, let's pop out a video. And I pulled out the list of videos that I have written down and I was trying to see which one is just a talking kind of a thing not where I have to show you stuff so I actually can make a video because I have several that I need to do but they're how-to videos so those I can't actually do here. But I am going to get them done. I have my fudge videos, lavender fudge, rose fudge, uh, flame manipulation, lavender lemonade, my goofers dust, how to make witches runes, uh, make my pain ointment, um, how to make rust water and what to do with it. So I, I have a whole bunch of videos written down. So I thought while well, I had a minute, I'll look through the list and see if they, oh, look at my shirt's all sideways. Like I was doing something I wasn't supposed to, huh? Up in her. Okay. It's still crooked. Um, whatever. So I was going through the list, and um, one of the things that has been asked of me is, how do you know when you have something against you? I get asked all the time if I can do a read on people to see they feel like they've been hexed or cursed or whatever wording you want to use as far as that goes. They feel like they have something on them. And um, I just wanted to make a video on that because I would say the majority of the time that I get asked this question, the people don't actually have anything pertaining to the craft on them. So I just want to go over um, some ways that I know if something is coming my way and um, people, other witches that I know, how they know things that are against them and what are not against them. Does that make sense? Let's just get into the video. Whenever I know that someone, let's go over a couple of things first, okay? And I do have country music playing in the background. If you don't like country music, you're probably not going to listen to it. I'm, I don't know, I'm in a country music kind of feel today. My husband loves country music and I don't know, I guess I was thinking about him this afternoon and I decided to play some country music. I'm the headbanger and he is the country music, and which is completely weird. It's like ass backwards, I don't know. Okay, so. Like I said, most of the time, people don't actually have something against them. If you see me looking that way, it's because my cameras are there. I know I've had people mention it in comments before where I, when I've done videos at work that, you know, why do I keep looking away? Um, my cameras are there, so that lets me know if somebody walks in and then I'll have to pause and go help them and then I'll be back for the video, which you won't see that part because I'll have it edited out. But that's why I'm looking over there. See, let me show you. See? Not this one, this is my computer screen with my husband and me. That over there is the cameras. Show me what's going on outside. Okay, it's been a while since I've done video. It's just like I can't get it rolling. Rolling, okay. So, like I said, most of the time, people don't actually have um, something pertaining to the craft against them. A lot of times, when bad things happen, it doesn't always mean something is, someone has put a spell on you. And I know sometimes life throws us a lot of shit back to back, back to back. But that doesn't necessarily mean that someone has something on you. And it seems like everybody knows a witch that doesn't like them. And everybody thinks that they've done something to them. And a lot of the times, most of the times, it just has to do with us. When we get a lot of things thrown at, thrown at us at life, and I do believe in past life. So I do feel like some of that baggage comes with us in this life. So I do add that and when people ask me a question because that is my belief, then that's going to be part of the answer as well. So I do feel like there's some things that come with us from the past life that we have to deal with in this life. But whenever we get so much stuff against us back to back, back to back, back to back, we as humans get this negative mentality. We may not be like negative where we're just yelling and cussing everybody, but we we start building up this negative energy that we may not even be knowing that we're doing. And because we're like, why does this keep happening? You know, I mean, I live, I'm nice to people and, and you know, I work hard and I take care of my kids, but things keep happening to me. So you start building up this negative energy, even without trying. And by doing so, it pulls in more negative energy, which is why when you go through stuff, shadow work is very important because it helps you with those negative energies. And 
by having that type of feelings you pull in more negative energy so basically it's like you are cursing yourself if curse is a word that you use because I know some people you know they use different terminology for things um, so you end up going against your own self pulling in more negative things and it just the cycle keeps going on and on and on even basic cleansings don't help with those things because this is an emotional imbalance because you're going through this shit and and that's why I say shadow work is good to get through things especially if it's sicknesses or deaths or loss of jobs loss of homes you know um, just when all that shit builds up on you it takes a toll on your emotional balance and a, a basic cleansing is not going to help you with that and you might think oh this feels good because it does feel good because we're feeling that positive energy and we're soaking it up but we're not dealing with the things that are already laid out so a lot of times when you have things that are happening to you before you consider that maybe a witch put a spell on you think about what all you've been going through and what kind of energy you're putting out there because a lot of times you could just fix it yourself and I'm telling you this because I've been there I've been there and I've caused that type of stuff to happen to me and I have also fixed that type of stuff I would love to do um, a witchy threesome that's one of the one of the things we do with Raven and, and Sunshine Morning Ray I would love for us three to get on a chat and talk about this if you girls watch this video let me know if you're interested in doing that. I would love for all three of us to touch that because I think that we might have different opinions on it. I think it would be helpful. Anyways, so, yeah, so though sometimes that could be the issue at hand, okay? Now, another thing that could be a problem is uh, having a spiritual haunting within the home. Having a negative spirit around that you are not even aware is there because if you're not extra super sensitive, you're not always going to know when you have ghosts around. You're just not. As much as I've worked with ghosts my whole life, there's been times where they've been right there with me and my son is like, Mom, you don't see that. I'm not that sensitive, so of course, no, I don't. And most of us are not. I would say 98% of us are not that sensitive. So we're not going to know. So sometimes you have these haunted items. You know, I don't have an item. that. Okay, let's say my cup is haunted. I bought it somewhere and it was haunted. And you got this negative energy attached to it it doesn't necessarily even need to be a spirit if someone used this cup to plunge somebody or was just a negative person that owned it that energy could still be stuck there and it could be something as simple as needing to get rid of the item or cleanse the item depending on how much you paid of course because if you bought an entire house that's full of negativity you can't just throw that away you would have to fix it sometimes you have this spiritual negativity attached to you and bad things will just continue to happen uh, sometimes you either have the spirit or just the energy there and you just need to cleanse it and get it done um, I've touched base on how to do that in a few videos if that's something you are interested in I would love to come on here and talk more about that because I'm really good at cleansing homes of energies and of spirits and closing up areas that are open and stuff like that so I don't know how many people are interested in hearing it so I haven't really made a video about it I've touched base a few times but you know I don't know what people want to watch these days. There's so many videos on YouTube, I don't feel like I have a lot left to offer. So I don't make as many videos as I used to. Um, but anyway, so that could be causing all this bad luck that you're having. There's just a couple of things that you can look into before you assume someone has spelled you. Uh, before you assume that there's a witch after you. There could be other things, emotional things or haunting things negative energy these things could be happening that has nothing to do with another witch putting something on you so I just wanted to throw that out there now to get to the point of the video on how I know when something is coming my way and also I spoke to a few other witches who have told me things that they feel and they know when things are coming to them okay so one thing that I know whenever I feel one way that I can feel when someone is either just really thinking negative about me or sending something my way is I'll always will feel a presence over here. Not over here, to my right, my dominant hand. I will always feel a presence here. Sometimes it feels like, and I'm always like, you know, and that's one way that I know either someone is thinking really negative about me, sending me something, something. You just feel like there is this, well, me. I just feel like there's this presence right here not a full presence it just it's just like right here almost like if there's an energy ball 
floating on this side of my head right there so and then of course then I know what I need to do sometimes you can see shadows and uh, the bad thing about that is is that when you work with spirits seeing shadows isn't uncommon so you really have to figure out the difference in the shadows because sometimes magic comes in the form of shadows if someone is sending something to you and it needs to embrace you cover you then rooms will seem darker than they're supposed to your space will seem darker you'll see shadows that shouldn't be there not so much people shadows but just a darkness and and, and that right there if you start seeing that you really need to sorry about that people Somebody came in the office. See, that's what that camera is there for. Okay, I forgot where it was. That darkness. Definitely want to take care of that. Definitely not a good sign. Um, some people also see smoke. This is something that my grandmother's sister, who passed away a couple years ago, would tell me about. It's smoke. She would see smoke. Like a smoky substance. It was almost like you had to rub your eyes because you feel like you're just groggy, but it wouldn't go away. And it wasn't constant. It was just here and there. Like she'd walk in a room and it'd be hazy. She'd do her eyes and still be hazy, but then it would go away. Then she knew that someone had some bad thoughts going on her because see, some people are strong enough that just thinking negatively about you or toward your family can send you the type of energy that you don't want. So you, so see, people don't actually have to put out all the candles and have a picture of you on their altar and do spell work and then it's gonna come and get you. Some people are strong enough to where if they think negative enough about you, that they really, really dislike you enough, that energy is enough to fuck you up a little bit. Okay, I did a cleansing on a woman who was having these tingles in her legs. And her legs, unfortunately we didn't get to it before it caused permanent damage because some things that people send to you were the wanting to make you ill even though you, you fix it and take the spell off and cleanse yourself and just done, whatever damage has already been caused to your physical body, because this is a human body. Okay, we were talking about the tingles, okay, and about the permanent damage it's caused. So when someone sends something to you and it hurts you physically, reversing the spell is not gonna change the effects. If you've gone blind before, because of a spell, you're still gonna be blind. If, if you've caught, if you lost, like this person functioning in your legs, and then you've lost the functioning in your legs. You've just, you've just stopped the spell so it can't do any more damage. Now, this particular woman, she always felt tingles going down her legs. And it turned out that the person that was doing it against her was actually using a potato doll, which is like a doll, doll baby, voodoo doll, whatever it is that you call those dolls, but made with a potato. And they had her embraced in a glass coffin it's a whole another situation to explain the whole how the spell worked but um, she felt tingles so that's something that you can also do my son he has felt the tingles too whenever he's had someone just have that negativity going toward him and that comes from the spiritual world too because he also gets the tingles and the painful tingles whenever there's a bad spirit around wanting to hurt him if you're not someone who has headaches regularly having lightning strike type pains in your head that are not just slight but are at the point where you actually have to stop and do this but they go away and again that you're not prone to them if, if you're having them and they're staying there definitely go to the doctor and get checked out but I'm just saying this is one of the signs where you know that someone is trying to send something to you because they're trying to connect to you trying to connect to your head and they're trying to get to you so that's another thing that you can look into and then you can turn to divination to find out what's going on uh, even who is doing it to you which most times if you have something coming at you you know who it is but a lot of people turn to other practitioners to do their spell work so even if you find out that you know Mary is sending you something she may have hired Shirley to do the spell work I'm naming off family members here <laughs> these are my people <laughs> but you know she may have hired Shirley to do the spell work so divination will help you figure that out another um, way that you could tell if someone is sending something to you is having that tunnel hearing where you feel like <sighs> tunnel hearing I mean that's I, I can't think of any other description to describe it where you feel like maybe it's like do this and talk and you'll know what I'm talking about 
that happens whenever people are trying to do something to you. I've had a few people tell, I haven't had that personally, but I've had a few people tell me that they've had that go on and it turned out to be that they actually had something against them. Now, th these things could also mean that you have a bad spirit around you that you need to get rid of or, or negative energy because a lot of times we are sabotaging ourselves. We are causing these things to happen to ourselves because of the things that we've been through in life. So I just want to add that one more time. But you also got to remember, especially us as witches, we're, we're sensitive, which is why we use protections. And we, we put oils and stuff on our, our, our jewelry that we wear, turning them into amulets, because we are sensitive. So if we're in a grocery store and someone just looks at us like we're shit and has this really bad thoughts in their head and is just looking at us and sending us that, that, that is evil eye right there. Like it's just... It, that energy can last on us which is why when every time i was out in public with my kids especially when they were babies i always kept things on them to keep them protected from evil eye people can cause harm to other people just with their negative energy just like when you if you're somewhere and you're at this gathering and everybody's just having a good time we just had this happen saturday night we're all talking having fun laughing and joking and then a person who walked in the room is just a very negative person. And when she walked in the door, it sucked the life out of the room. It got awkward. We all just kind of felt like we couldn't even sit comfortable. And we, people started to leave. That shows you how powerful energy can be. And negative energy is so strong. Unfortunately, in my experience, Negative energy has been stronger than positive energy. It takes more work to get rid of negative energy than it is to fill your house with positive energy. That's just the way it is. You know, just like they say, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. It just goes with that. Negative energy is potent and you just gotta watch out for it. And it can happen to you anywhere. I, there, there's this thing that we've always said, if you're walking and you trip, look around, to see who's looking at you because if you're walking and you end up tripping odds are somebody was looking at you like saying in their head like Ugh, what is she wearing oh that girl's ugly or you know just something ugly in their head has caused you to trip I am a firm believer in these things I'm a firm believer that the mind is very powerful that's where intent comes from that's where magic comes from and you know, you just want to be careful out there, especially us as witches. Even those who don't practice witchcraft, um, people who maybe only are folks who work with um, the metaphysical, you're sensitive. So you're more prone to these kind of situations. You don't have to be a witch to be prone to it. That's not what I'm saying. But if you're a sensitive person and you work with the energies, then you're more likely, likely to be affected by negative energy. And um, yeah. Anyways, I can go on all day about this. This video is already like 23 minutes. Let's see how much I have to edit out from being interrupted by um, clientele walking in. So, again, a lot of times it could be something that we can fix ourselves and not blame on other practitioners, our spell work, our curses, our hexes, or any of that. It, it could be as simple as the things that I talked about in this video. So, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please um, leave them down in the comments. I know I used to answer every question and comment, but now that we've gotten so many, I'm only answering as many as I can, which is usually the first three days after the video is posting. I'm answering all those. So if you have anything after that, I'll try, I try to get to as many as I can. Um, I stay behind on my Facebook messages these days because there's so many. I just do what I can. And, I mean, I promise you, I answer tons. I answer so many. Like, I don't just answer a little handful of them. One day I'm going to go through and show y'all in one week how many messages that I get. I answer as many as I can. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have, and, and if you have anything you want to add to this, please add it in the comments because what I've been seeing the last year or so is the communication within within the community that happens in the comments 
where people are sharing experiences and, and, and helping people when I haven't gotten back to the comment. They leave a question and then you got two other witches coming in here to help that don't make videos or, you know, that don't have the social media that, that people could get in contact with them. Or they just want to help because they're in passing and they see the comment and they feel like they can. So please feel free to comment all you want in the comments and share and help each other because we're a community. We may not all practice the same and we may not all believe in the same things, but we're still a community and we need to stand with each other and help each other. And that's what it's about at the end of the day. All right, I'm going to stop preaching now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video. As always, blessed be.